One of the wonderful things about Otaku no Video is that it's unique. It's a celebration of what it means to be a fan, while also gently mocking fandom. It's one half animated story about a college student joining an anime club, and one half live action mockumentary. How often do you see that? Otaku no Video was made in 1991 by Studio Gainax. The animated segments, with characters designed by Kenichi Sonoda, are lovingly, if straightforwardly, animated, showing a young man who is roped into joining a friend's otaku club in college, and getting further and further obsessed, as many of us do. These segments are fun, partly as a pseudo-documentary of what it was like to be an anime fan in the late 70s and early 80s, when otaku were extremely niche, and basically unknown to the general population. It's really interesting to see a different time in fandom. The live-action segments, on the other hand, are very much in the This Is Spinal Tap mold. One guy can't keep a conversation going for more than five minutes because he's constantly switching out VHS recordings of shows. One hentai fan shows off glasses that he's made that reduce pixelization and an American expat's straightforward description of his appreciation for anime is translated as jingoistic adoration for all things Japan. Very, very over-the-top and silly. As such, you'll enjoy Otaku no Video in direct proportion to how much you'll enjoy its jokes about otaku culture, especially otaku culture of the 1980s. While there is a story about the protagonist's travels through otaku fandom, it's a simple thing akin to the plot of a doujinshi. Enough to keep your attention, but not exactly deep or complex. But again, that's not what it's going for. Interestingly, without getting into spoilers, the ending makes a surprisingly ambivalent statement about otaku attitudes. I'm still not sure whether it's positive or negative, or maybe even both at once. As with so many things early in Gainax's career, say what you will, they give you an ending you won't soon forget. But ultimately, Otaku no Video isn't particularly compelling, either as a mockumentary or as a fun look at otaku culture. It's a diversion. It is the ultimate um, expression of a group of otaku making something to talk about and celebrate the things that they love. It's not meant to be deep because these things, in many ways, the products themselves aren't necessarily deep. They touch us deeply. They are very important to us. But the products themselves are essentially these um, disposable pieces of entertainment, at least for a lot of folks creating it. And it's one of the, the fun things about Otaku no Video is it, it retains that in its telling and presentation. Um, while at the same time, very much showing how much anime can change people, how it can really alter people's lives for the better and in some cases for the worse. It's also remarkable just how well made Otaku no Video is, at least the animated segments. Again, the animation is not mind-blowing most of the time. There's some very nicely done uh, uh, pieces, <coughs> and the animation is always on model, but... Um, it is there more for flavor, for the fact that we just like watching animated stuff, and so this is more animated stuff. It's kind of that weird thing where Otaku no Video isn't meant to blow you away. It's meant to be a record of otaku culture, which is one of the things it calls itself. It's this really interesting um, and very uh, different thing. Again, it is unique, and that is one of the things that makes it special. No one else does this. No one else has ever done this. And to see it made and to see something that shows us what it's like, and especially what it was like to be an otaku at that period, makes it definitely a remarkable, uh, a remarkable piece of entertainment and a remarkable document. So it's one of the reasons I initially named this channel after Otaku no Video, because it is both a... Um, mild criticism of the fact that this stuff can be a little ridiculous and a little over the top, but also loving it, celebrating it, you know, saying, yes, it is over the top. We acknowledge that and we enjoy it. We love this stuff for what it is. That's our talking to a video, something that uh, is uh, very special to me, something that uh, I find a, a remarkable piece of entertainment. 
Um, um, and I hope you find it that way as well. Fortunately, there was a recent Blu-ray re-release of Otaku no Video, thanks to Right Stuff. So if you want to check it out, it is out there and available. And um, it is definitely an important part of, uh, of the history of otaku culture.